again everyone, this is Mega47. Uh, yesterday I made a... excuse me... <coughs> I made a new review on the 50 caliber inline muzzle loader. But what I did not do, in case you noticed, was cover the 45 caliber Sabo round for medium game. And it just so happens there happens to be competition going on for that very rifle to hunt elk and whitetail and that's what I plan to do right now. I'm going to be doing this for a competition but I'm mainly going to be primarily covering the 45 caliber round and its effectiveness on these animals. Excuse me again. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go for whitetail and elk. That's it. Everything else is being stripped. Obviously don't need a moose call here. We are currently on white heart. Uh, I don't need the big game rounds. Sabo. Uh, no coyote calls. Buck call. I said buck call, there we go. Uh, got the buck call, got the elk call, got the scent block, what do I got, whitetail piss? Oh. Whitetail and elk, how ironic. Uh, I'm gonna keep the tent just in case. If I come across an area that I might want to set up a tree stand, that'd be useful. But white heart is actually very full of uh, stands, so I don't think it's very necessary. Uh, the first one I'm going to try is this one right here. And I'm going to give that one a shot and see how this works out. But I really want to try this round out. I haven't even shot the 45 yet. So we'll see how this works out. Hopefully I get a big buck. America. Okay, one thing I forgot to do was load my rifle first. Obviously, it makes noise. They're going to spook. So let's do this now. And I want to see this Sabo round load. Hopefully they're accurate in the animation. You get to see the Sabo round go in. Hopefully they're not using a generic animation, but we'll find out right now. Oh, nope, there it is. That thing is sexy looking. You ran the road in there. Sorry. I get excited when I get to hunt. Throw on the cap. Now we're good to go. Alright, I'm walking to the other stand and we got this doe calling, which I'm not even going to respond to because that just irritates me. I know if I go up to that stand, there's not going to be a buck there. It's just going to be another doe. And I'm in no mood for a dosage fest. So I'm just going to keep moving on to this other stand. We'll see what happens. But if anything, I mean, if, if anything, if it goes bad, then with this other stand, then we'll move back up there and hopefully there'll be a buck tagging along with that doe. But I'm just not in the mood for her shit. I want to see a buck. So we'll keep moving. We'll see what happens. Alright, I just happened to look up through these trees and I saw that. So I'm going to try and call him in right now. I can't believe I saw that. I was looking through the trees and I'm like, that's out of place. I'll give a couple calls. Problem is, we got a doe right over there. I did not see him though until the last second. So, let's see if we can get him over here, but I'm going to close the gap. I'm going to try and get away from her because I know she's going to be coming right over to this buck call. Should have my bleat, but for some reason does come to the bleat. I haven't seen that in the real world too much. But uh, the funny fact is I was just out hunting this month, and I only got back a few days ago. The only thing we had was a bleat call, and this time of year they're not in rut, so bucks really don't want anything to do with that call. It doesn't mean really shit to them right now. Um, but that was the only way I can make them stop a few times when I saw them. <laughs> I swear to God, they were confused as shit. Uh, we were tracking this three-point around this guy's property for a while, and three-point is pretty good size in California, given that it's blacktail. But I kept, he kept running around fucking off everywhere. We had him on the game cams. We had him on everywhere. Every, t every time we thought he wasn't somewhere, he would pop up and surprise us. And the only way I can get him to stop was to use that fucking bleak call. And he would just stop dead in his tracks and look right over my direction, just like, what the fuck? But he just wasn't interested, and he would take off. So I thought that was kind of funny. I was using a bleak call at the complete wrong time of the year. I'm going to walk right up on this guy, aren't I? Oh, fuck me. That's what I get for talking too much. That was actually pretty stable during the shot, too. She's definitely gone. I'm not going to bother looking.
insta drop. Oh, that was a high shot. That's probably gonna be lungs. The rack looked bigger from far away. Not bad. Oh, one, two, three, four. You don't count the ones towards the head. So say he's maybe a three. Uh, I guess you can call him a three-pointer. Not typical. I don't know. I just shoot here. Yeah, left lung, right lung, through and through. A little too high. It's kind of my fault. But then again, I did not expect him to be standing right there, and that's what I get for talking. He was looking right at me, too. He's probably about to book it. I'll get a trophy shot. Deep, deep, deep. That works. Alright, that's one. Still could use another, but there's not going to be anything around this stand now. It's a good thing I came over here, though. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I'm going to start heading to this one. We'll start egressing north, straight north, and see what we come across. Maybe we'll get something if we're lucky. But so far so good. Man, that that was pretty accurate and he dropped, but then again I was really close, so I don't want to give it too much credit. But damn, that was stable. Alright, we'll keep moving, and if we find something, we'll see how it goes. Alright, I just got a call to my left. He's pretty close. But, I did put a scope on my rifle. Because I really want to test the accuracy on this thing. I'm legitimately curious. He's right over here somewhere, so it's not going to be that far of a shot, but it could be a good distance to at least judge how effective the rifle is. Especially the Sable round. What I need to do is put my fucking scent eliminator on. I completely forgot about that. I'm surprised that other buck didn't run. I wish I could go prone in this shit. The grass is too tall. If it bleeds, it could be killed. Gotta be there. I'm just keeping my eyes glued to the tree line. There he is. Oh, he's a small guy. That was a shitty shot. My fault, not the weapons. A little too far left for a chest shot. I think I might have skimmed a lung. Right, let's see where that went. I'd really like to try a better range shot. But I'm going to have to get on some a hillside and really take some scoping out. Uh, I don't think he went that far, did he? It's a roaming mark. It's a blood mark. Fleeing. It's a body shot. Fuck. I bet I went right past his left lung. His right lung. His right. And through his shoulder. That sucks. Now I gotta track this bitch. Alright, just came up on him now. I had to track him against some... Yeah, that's a crappy size. Body shot. I think I hit him, like, right in front of the lungs. It was a shit shot. I'm not gonna take a trophy shot. I don't deserve that crappy of a round placement. But, uh, I'd like to at least get one more. I'm not really going to take this competition too seriously. I'm a day late on it. Let's scope out this coastline. 
Only have a minute, because if there's something across that river, it would be a good testament to the accuracy. So at least I have a distance to distance to cover with the round. Let's push down the sandbar and see if we can call something in. Well, that was easy. Only been here for about 10 seconds, and he's already responding. So we gotta. Oh, naturally the weather comes in now. I'm gonna try and go prone here. That's a rock. It says he's right up on that road directly in front of me. It was definitely a buck. This is gonna definitely be interesting. I wanna get him before he starts to move along the coast because he's not gonna be able to cross here. But I wanna get eyes on. Calm again. the fog had to show up now. Oh, that's better. I want to try and get an estimate of his distance as quickly as possible. And maybe we can take a shot. The further the better. I don't see any movement yet. Where are you at? Never in the sentence was a preposition. Where are you? No eyes yet. Where are you? Now you're here. I can smell venison a mile away. Where are you at? Damn it, I did it again. Where are you? distance from here to there. Isn't the cap like 399 or something like that for feet to see wildlife? Oh. Range 547 feet. <coughs> Let's see what my scope says. There he is right there. Got my old breath. I hit him. I hit him. I like to see where. I aimed right where the neck meets the chest to account for bullet drop. I know this game doesn't simulate that very hardcore, but it was just a smidge. And I saw him flinch and he fucking took off. So I hit him. He was standing right there, right where those white flowers are. Let's get a range. He's right about there, I believe. 536 feet. Alright, I'm gonna run to save some time. Because who cares anymore? And we'll see what happens. Alright, I'm coming up right up to the spot where I think I hit him. Body shot. Back. Alright, tracking time. I think I'm coming up on him right now. Did he kneel down and die, or is he moving? Stop running. I think he's done. I'm very, very curious on where this shot went. I really want to know. I think that was more me. He's not that big either. Okay, well, I'm going to place myself back here, and hopefully I can move him around during the trophy shot and find the bullet wound. Just a body shot. Okay. And that tells me I might have hit too low. I think I hit too low. Where's the body shot? I don't see an entry wound. And he was... His left was facing to me. I don't see an entry wound. That is quite disappointing. I can't really tell where we hit him. There's nothing there. Well, that just blows. 
shit. Alright, well, I could tell you I was hitting him right where the that little pocket is between the neck and the chest. I was trying to aim a little bit higher than that, and I just don't see anything. Nothing low chest, nothing. So I can't tell you where I hit him, but I did hit him. I think I hit him low. I really think I did. I think I grazed the chest. Is what I did. I, maybe I should have aimed a little bit higher, but I mean, the 536 feet, and I mean in this game, is a pretty good attempt, especially with black powder. I mean, if you try it with the other black powder rifle, I'm sure you can hit him, but it just wouldn't be as accurate, and you just wouldn't have that punch anymore. That muzzle velocity shit with was with well, this means a sable round. It's I don't know any more details about this rifle. They really don't say. I don't think it's rifled. I don't know if the barrel's rifled or not, but if it's a modern black powder rifle, usually they are. They're not smooth bore. So if we got the sable round and we also have a spin on the round, it's much more stable. It's going to go much further. It's just how the powder's burned. You're not going to get that effect as if it was a uh, in a full case, like a uh, full round, your traditional round with, with a shell. But 536 feet with black powder, and I didn't track him that far, maybe a couple hundred yards, and here he lies. Unfortunately, it was a body shot. I was going for vitals. I thought I had it. Maybe it just it wasn't aiming high enough. So maybe the drop is pretty tremendous on this rifle. But for a 45 caliber, excuse me, 45 caliber saber round, black powder to fire at that distance effectively against the target. I'm sold. I quite like it a lot. I love the conical rounds they have. It's not a traditional ball. Given it's conical and given they have the saber rounds, it's got to be a rifled barrel. I wouldn't see why it wouldn't be. Most black powder, modern black powder rifles are rifled. Uh, so you also have that effectiveness of range uh, accuracy, obviously. And, I mean, I'm not disappointed at all. If I ever go out rifle hunting again, there's a coyote behind me. There's a fucking coyote behind me. Come here. Here's spot. I don't know. Can I shoot him with this? Looking for movement. Looking for movement. There he is. Got him further down the body because he was moving a little quick. Probably should have turned my mouse sensitivity up. But I think I got him. I think I saw him go down. I'm not sure. Did he? Contestant shot, yeah. That's about right. Okay, let me track this guy and finish up. Alright, well. I tracked to Cody and I got it. Decided not to film it because it was just pointless, but just to wrap everything up, um, I would just have to say this is a fantastic black powder rifle. It is very effective. All all the things I've covered already with, you know, the accuracy, trajectory, yada, yada, yada. But uh, the only thing I could possibly see that's kind of daunting in the back of my mind is it might not have enough punch with the 45 caliber round though yes pretty accurate and stable that it really is I don't think it has that big punch to drop medium game at a good distance most of these shots that were shit are my fault not the rifles so I really can't say until I actually use it a lot more which I'm gonna plan to do and I'll do a follow-up later on but for now I really think this is just a great rifle if you wanna take black powder more seriously in the game get the rifle just freaking get it you get two calibers you can do your medium and you can do your heavy game you're not gonna be able to do the smaller things like foul waterfowl yeah 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 you know things like that I'm not even 100 percent sure I was allowed to shoot that coyote <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Every single time. I'm not even sure I was supposed to shoot that coyote, but I think I actually am with the uh, 45. But <clears throat> give it a try. You'll like it. You will not be disappointed. It's definitely a good investment. I plan on pushing the accuracy 
again. I want to see if I can get a kill shot and get him to drop at a far distance, but I don't feel it's going to happen. Not only with the 45 caliber round, but the black powder. It just doesn't have the velocity, and it just doesn't have that large punch. But I'm going to give it a shot, and if you really are considering getting this wonderful rifle, I really, really suggest it. Just go get it. Until again, this Omega 47 with control out, damn it. Take it easy.